and welcome back to Sound Like on Anderson's TV. Today we are sounding like the band Tool. <laughs> bass player, you see. And anyway, they're never going to stop. The Tool, the the, uh, the bass player jokes are not going to stop. The Tool jokes are not going to stop either. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just setting myself up that one. Anyway, yes, we are sounding like Tool today, but we are sounding like Tool by busting the bank. We have no limit on what we can afford to buy. So we've had to order a few things from the warehouse, which are around us now. So. Uh, yeah, bass show wise, yours first. Yeah, so explanation of this one. This is the Warwick Rock Bass Corvette. Uh, obviously, I know Justin uses a uh, wall bass with custom wound pickups. There's no way I can get that in. Um, the closest thing <laughs> I can custom think. They're custom made, aren't they? They are, yeah. Mm. The closest thing I can think to get in in terms of sound is a Warwick, and this is still fairly expensive, so. Gonna try this one Woo! and uh, fling the uh, tags everywhere. Well, that's what you gotta do with tags. Yeah. Fling them around the place. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, so that's your. I've gone because, you know, you've got to, haven't you? Let's be honest. Even though, technically, I am tempted to go and say, oh, maybe not. Let's go and get a Murphy Lab instead because it's more expensive. But it's the Adam Jones standard. And you kind of. Tall, Adam Jones, Silver Burst. Yeah, one, it's his. Yeah. The one signature. time you could actually use it. Exactly, so well why it. not? So yeah, we'll go for this, but there is a still a temptation to go and get like an eight grand, nine grand Murphy Abelez Paul and go, yeah, why not? I've got no, no problems here, they swore. <laughs> anyway, but that's the guitar I'm using. Uh, I'm going to use the Marshall Silver Jubilee here, the one, the limited edition one uh, in black snakeskin because uh, Adam uses a diesel and uh or diesel diesel well, <laughs> and a marshall super bass but i don't want to use two amps i want to just kind of get, go just kind of just for one of you know i could go mental uh, i do i do want to use a 412 cab this head but i think this will give me the right amount of gain i need and should hopefully give me the right amount of tone if it doesn't then you know oh dear uh but that's the head i'm going to use 412 cab Jobs are good in. What's your amps? So, bass wise, obviously, uh, Justin uses Galleon Kruger with Mesa cabs. He uses two one for a dirty sound, one for a clean sound. Uh, so, I'm getting two amps in, and I'm going to attempt to do the same because I've always wanted to do that. Had to one up me, getting two amps <laughs> instead of one. I could go for s five. It's to make up for the two less strings. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we've had to order them in, so you'll see them in the video room when we get there. Shall we go to Pedal World? Yeah. This is well. This is mine's <laughs> easy. I only need about three. Mine's not. I'm gonna have to keep like referring to notes because there's so many. <laughs> ha ha ha! Well, I'll do mine first and get out of the way. So <laughs> pedal time. Okie dokie. Pedals. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna go for full Adam Jones pedal board because some of the songs we're playing where I won't necessarily need everything. So I'm gonna go for overused delay pedal. Uh, Adam just uses the Boss DD uh, delay pedal, but you know. This is by Bust in the Bank, we're not doing that. So I'm gonna use the Boss, uh, what's it called? The DD500 delay pedal because I only need one delay noise and <laughs> why not go absolutely mental? Um, I'm gonna use that, I'm gonna use the Boss uh, G7 EQ pedal as well because uh, Adam has always had an EQ pedal. And I'm gonna use a flanger pedal, which I don't know which one yet. I am torn between the, well, it depends on one which which one you want. Because, <laughs> I think I know which one I want. Yeah, which one are you getting then? Uh, I think I'm going to get the Mr. Black. Okay, I'm going to go for the UA Audio. <laughs> <laughs> of course! You know, Adam uses Boss. Come on, Adam, get with the times, mate. UA Audio. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to use the UA Audio, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a flange pedal. It's a flange chorus and a modulation, pe bus modulation pedal. And it's ridiculously expensive. And I'm going to use that. They're my three pedals. I don't think I'll need a booster. Adam does use the MXR microamp, but I think the Jubilee will have enough gain in it as it is. Yeah. I hide. If I need a booster, um, I'll probably use something like the Blues Driver or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure that out we'll when see. I get to it. I don't think I'll need it though at this point in time. So, all right, okay. Pedals. I'm going to get out of the way because I'm well, going to no, have a cup I, of tea. I need your eyes. No, <laughs> no you need a ladder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I need a step. <laughs> Climb on the orange, it's fine. Right. Um, yeah, so number one on the list, delay as well, needs to be a digital delay. So I think that's the Boss DD200, if I'm seeing correctly. 
Uh, I think this is this the Boss EQ. That is an EQ pedal. That's EQ two hundred. Yep, let's go with those two. So cool. EQ pedal again. Justin also uses mainly Boss pedals. Flanger. Flanger so pedal. Mr. Mr. Black, Black, you said Flanger. for that, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, well, wah wah. Yes. I, oh, there's a Morley wah in there. I'll, I'll grab that one. Tremolo. Gonna go with the Mar 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 eh, Mariner Tremolo. <laughs> Try and say that fast. A, a very cheap first. pedal. Ah yes. You need yes, the rat. The rat. And then Octahive Fuzz, I'm gonna go with that. Mm. I think... Is that it? That's everything, I think. There aren't any whammies at the moment, so I can't go with one of them, but that's okay. What about okay. something like a... Um, pitchfork. A pitchfork I didn't yeah. see one. If we can get one, great, but we're not playing anything that uses one, and you all know oh, okay. who uses one anyway, so... Yes. Okay, so there is a pitchfork. We will grab that for our bass friend so she can do whammy things. So yeah, pitchfork, we can use that for your... You can at least demo what it does. <laughs> you know, with a woo, 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 woo. That's exactly what it'll sound like. Uh, and then Boss OC5 octave pedal. All done. Of course. Didn't even see that. <laughs> I, got, I got pedal blind. So yeah, is that it? Yep, that's cool. everything. Cool, okay, back to the video room. Yeah. In the weirdest tall fashion. It looks all very like watery and looks like strange. <laughs> So we are back in the video room. If you're hearing frying bacon right now, that's because my amp is very loud and hissy. But it's good. Again, I, do, I, do, I like that. Yeah, I don't I like do. it when everyone wants, I just want my amp totally silent with no noise whatsoever. Where's the fun in that? You want it to buzz <laughs> and hiss and crackle and fry and do all sorts of other things. That's where it's supposed to be. Okay, so anyway, uh, so yeah, this is our quest to sound like the band Tool without a budget. Although I seem to have gone budget in a way. <laughs> Not really. I mean, I couldn't afford any of this stuff in my life, but hey. Yeah, I mean, the, the guitar's already on its own way yeah. twice over budget. But the guitar is absolutely stunning. It I mean, is. Look, I want one. Look how good. And you got this really cool thing on the back of the headstock. Oh my God, it's all gone tall. And the Adam Jones Trush Rug cover with 1979 on it. So this guitar is amazing. Not as amazing as one that's sat over there, but you can't see that one, so <laughs> ha ha. But it's great. feels great. It does the Adam Jones thing. Uh, it's really cool and it does one thing which I've never been able to get out of any other Les Paul and I'll, I'll demonstrate that in a bit. But I'm using, this is a guitar I've got, I'm using the Marshall Silver Jubilee Black with snakeskin Tolwex which is very sleek uh, for the, basically everything. That's basically the, that's the main powerhouse of thing. Uh, I'm using the Boss G7 Equalizer pedal which has been on all the time. I, I haven't turned that off. And all I've done on it basically is just push up the... Um, the last two faders, just to push up the high end a bit, just to kind of like spark it. I'll show you with and without, because you can hear the hiss go away. So it's doing a lot. But, uh, and then I've got the Boss DD500 for the delays you'll hear in the, in the thing. And it's a basically overkill, but it's all good. <laughs> so, yeah, it sounds amazing. Let me give you some kind of like little isolated sounds. So basically, you can get everything you want just on the volume pedal of the guitar. So, oh, let me show you the EQ first. So this is the amp without the EQ pedal. Oh, 
and this is the amp with the EQ pedal. <laughs> With mess ups and everything. <laughs> but um, that's fine. Adam Jones won't kill me yet. It does, it just tightens it up. It just adds a little bit of sparkle to it and it just gives me a little bit more gain as well because I was, I, I, I ain't got the gain cranked on the amp because it was getting all flubby and bleh and uh, just not sounding very good. So the G7's really uh, done that. Uh, the delay, um, I just, this is set up for, I just set up three different ways. I did set up for Numa differently, Vicarious, and Sober. Oh, and Lateralis. Yeah. So four different uh, delay settings. He only has two delays, which means he's messing with these things, which is cool. <laughs> Old school ways of doing I things. I can only remember Numa's 524 yes. speed. And then yes. uh, Vicarious is 517. Something like that. But I'll give you an idea. So this is the Numa delay. <laughs> And basically that's what I'm all, that's all I'm using it for is different kind of ambient things that Adam would use and you can kind of get away with doing it. It's just really cool. And again, Adam didn't use reverb. So there's, yeah, he doesn't use reverb at all. It, 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 it would get in the way of his tight sound, especially if you're doing kind of like... You know, that needs to be absolutely on it and, and tight as can be. So, <laughs> uh, no reverb. And that's basically it. I'm not I'm really doing anything else. Um, like I say, it cleans up on the volume. Now you can do the really cool Adam Jones volume swells. I love it. I didn't have a good G L. <laughs> it does the Adam Jones thing. I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I'm very happy with this. Uh, very happy with this setup. Oh, let me tell you quickly how I got the amp set as well. So, uh, I have, uh, funny enough, this is Adam's settings. I didn't think it would work. Yeah. I really didn't think it would work. These are actually his settings. So I have presence on uh, four, so it's about 11 o'clock. No bass, doesn't use bass, it gets in the way of that thing. Uh, middle all the way up, crank the, crank the mids. Treble is at 10 o'clock. Uh, then on the Jubilee, I have it on the lead master mode. So the red light's on, so it's a distortion channel. Uh, I have the output master at this point in time at 10 o'clock, uh, lead master is all the way up, and I have the input gain at 1 o'clock. So, um, pretty straightforward. Again, Jubilees rule the day. I love <laughs> Jubilees. I want one, but, you know, this, no, might, no. this might, might disappear. But, yeah, I'm happy with mine. Queenie. Wait, show us the pick squeal, Dave. Oh, yes, let me show the pick squeal. But, yeah, the one thing that I haven't been able to find to do on any guitar. I don't know why <laughs> this is, but for some reason, Adam does this amazing pick, like this scrapey thing. It just sounds amazing. And I can't do it on any other guitar, but this one does it. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> it's utterly wow. horrible, but at the same time, fantastic. <laughs> it's so cool. And he does it with like feedback as well. I'm not loud enough to kind of get the feedback he has because he has obviously he's got his uh, super bass and his diesel diesels. Uh, how many people are going to have a go at us for saying it that way? Diesel, <laughs> but that's technically how the you German should one. say it. Diesel. Diesel, yeah. Vin Diesel. <laughs> <laughs>
Go on then. Yeah. You might uh, be here a while. The monolith. <laughs> I'll, I'll stand by that. Pedals first. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, I'll go with the amps first because I'm running one clean, one dirty. And the way I've got it split is I've got all the effects going through both. And then apart from one is clean and then I have the rat distortion that's on all the time going through this one, which is giving it the dirty sound. So I'll show you the first amp just clean so you can hear how that's set and then just the dirty one and then I'll show you them together. Allow me to man the amps. Yes, please do. Okay, so which one do you want to hear first? Uh, do the clean one first. Okay, so this yeah. is clean. Clean. Okay. So just dirty. Both? Yep. <laughs> Evil. I've never had the opportunity to do that before, so running two amps is uh, is exciting for me. Uh, but again, that, that's one of the things. I'm not leaving. <laughs> one of the things, isn't it? I was going to stay behind. It was like a sauna. It was great. I was losing <laughs> pounds. I could feel it. But um, that is the that is the key to Justin's tone, though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Sounds awesome. I'm not leaving now. So uh, no. Yeah. So obviously, rap pedal. That's just going into the one amp, and then all of these are going into both. So. Next one, obviously we've got the Layla Splitter Box, or Leela, however you say it. Uh, Boss OC5 Octave, which is for stuff like Vicarious, so... Pretty cool. Uh, cool. That's just an octave up, so there's no octave down, it's just normal bass sound and an octave up. Sounds fierce, that It bit. does. So weird sounding, but it's so cool. Uh, then I've got the Octahive Fuzz, which is for Justin's kind of solo-y sound, which sounds like this. Have you, uh, just a bit, have you seen the speaker when you do that? No. <laughs> it's hysterical. Let me see. It's like boo, 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 boo. Then I've got the uh, <laughs> Boss DD200 delay after that lovely image, um, which sounds like this. <laughs> sounds great. I just mm. missed the pedal completely then. Well, I'm not surprised with those. <laughs> I was like, yes. Uh, what's next is the Astra. Astra. Which is the flanger. I didn't which, use this. Which I very kindly gave up. Yeah. For the, for the, I gave it all for the bass. <laughs> um, we tried the Mr. Black and it just didn't really yeah. have the right sound. So this one sounds perfect. I didn't use this obviously in any of the songs that we played, but it's good for stuff like 46 and 2, which is... Uh... <laughs> Sounds great. That sounds immense. <laughs> that sounds like a sitar. It yeah, does. It does. Like kind of, yeah. with, that, with that clean zingy amp over the darker distort, it's yeah, amazing. It's a great it sound. Um, and then last but not least, I've got the Mariner Tremolo, which again, I didn't use in any of the actual songs we played, but it's very tall and it's very Justin. And he does have one on his pedal board. Mm -hmm. so. I love that sound. 
Can, d d just indulge me. Can you try a delay with, with maybe the level down on the delay with that tremolo? I just want to hear it. Yes. Maybe uh, just dial the level down to like, say, 10 o'clock. Just, just indulge me for a moment here. Yeah, I like that. Love that sound. <laughs> I think that's my uh, favourite bass tone mm. ever. I've got to say, Tool are one of those rare bands where the guitarist self, I mean, Adam, yeah, granted, Adam uses three amps live, but he has very minimal pedals. Mm. You know, he's got an EQ pedal, chorus, flange, MXR microamp, wah, volume pedal, and uh, I think he's got two delays, two, two, two delay pedals. But then again, sometimes there isn't even a chorus pedal on his board. Yeah. He has very minimal setup, and it's all from the guitar mainly, like, you know, the clean distortion scanner. He has very minimal setup, but then Justin has just gone mental. I know. He's, he, he's, he, and I always like the fact as well, he takes more solos than Adam. Yeah, it's, I love it's it. It's cool. There are some <coughs> solos in Tall Stuff that for ages I thought were a guitar, but they're actually Justin's mm. bass. <laughs> it's great. Um, but yeah, I've got to mention as well, I didn't go with the wah because I actually ended up just not really needing it. And this did the sound that I wanted on its own, which was just the toe down wah kind of harsh solo -y sound. So I took that out um, and I also didn't use the pitchfork because it just didn't sound right for the whammy sound that he has. Um, but you know he uses one, so when you can get hold of one, try it out. <laughs> uh, bass wise, went with the Warwick. Um, I've got the EQ just set all middle, so that's not really doing anything, as you can see. Um, and then for the amp EQ, so for the distortion one, uh, I have pretty much everything at 12 o'clock except the bass is at 2 o'clock. Same thing for the clean amp as well, so they're both set exactly the same. I'll mention one thing as well because people will ask the Friedman is here just in case the Jubilee didn't do what I needed it to uh, but the Jubilee did so the Jubilee combined with the G7 and the Adam Jones well in all fairness let's face it it's all the Adam Jones list Paul it didn't, it didn't matter what I could have pugged into the floor and it would have sounded <laughs> like tall with the Adam Jones list Paul because it's the Adam Jones list Paul and everyone knows that one so but yeah uh, that's why the Freeman's there. It was just in case uh, the Jubilee didn't quite get there, but I, I, I love it and it's a great sound. And one thing that's really cool is because the bass is all kind of low and high, uh, the, the guitar, because it's just so mid-rangey, just sits right in the middle and nothing ever gets in the way. Mm. And again, when we saw them live, that was exactly what we heard, didn't it, as well? It's like yeah. when they were sound ch line checking and sound checking their guitars and bass, it was honestly it was the best live sound i've ever heard a band mm. it was just everything was, was so perfect it was like the album but mm. had all the energy and kind of rawness that a live band should at the same time mm. i don't know how they did it no it's scary i just but, want i want to try one thing as well the harmonics okay. on this okay go. actually sound it Yep. It sounds great. <laughs> it's a thunderous sound. But again, at the same time, it's so bright. I know. And you've got all that low end yeah, as well. It's, it's, it's great. got like a really glassy sound, but then a really gritty, gravelly kind of sound to it as yeah. well. So I've got to say, this on its own, 
I don't like. Yeah. That on its own, I don't like. But mm. together, it's like... Yeah. I love yeah. that stuff. But the problem is, you're going to have to go back now to playing single amp subs. I know. Can you do it? No. See, I, <laughs> I was tempted to get two amps for this video, and I thought, no, because I don't want to torture myself. Yeah. So... I had to do this. I've yeah. I've never tried it before. And, no. And, I'm and it's by... It. But breaking the bank. So exactly. Okay, so we need to do prices now. Yeah, we need to check some prices. This is going to be fun. Ooh, price check. Okay, so all of this in the grand total is 5,898. <gasps> so we've kind of come down from deep purple, but. So mine came to a bit less than that, but not much less. Mine came to 5,073 pounds. Uh, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, but again, like I say, you know, you just, you just need to buy the Adam Jones Les Paul and you can plug it into anyone. And I mean anyone. <laughs> your gran, your dad. Even yourself. Even, yeah, even <laughs> yourself. What happens if you plug it into a bass, though? Well, just, why would you do that? <laughs> the world falls over in Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, that was fun. I really enjoyed that. Uh, I love this setup. This, is, this yeah. setup's been fun. Uh, yours has been evil and monstrous <laughs> I, I want it yeah i know that is great links to all this stuff is down there uh please peruse at your leisure and uh yeah uh, please like subscribe and if you are subscribed at some point you can win all the clums and all <laughs> goodbye now see ya